let's go and hang our lads. It's a song born out of childhood memories. To the water from the pier. Of growing up along Lake Michigan, just an hour north of Chicago, in Kenosha. It's head and fireflies. Light up and then suspend mid-air. Today. I say to the song, Kenosha is a place for the future. Singer-songwriter Tom Goss lives in Los Angeles. For me, songs are, are therapy. His latest work, Cooler by the Lake, he wrote in the wake of tragedy in his hometown. When Kenosha police officer Rustin Chesky shot Jacob Blake in the back five times, paralyzing Blake during this altercation on August 23rd of last year. That shooting sparking days of protests, riots, and looting, and putting Goss's hometown of just over 100,000 residents in the national and international spotlight. I, I watched that video and, I, I, you know, I can't, you can't not cry. As he sat more than 2,000 miles away. My heart was breaking over and over again. Um, not only for the town of Kenosha, but for everybody who had never heard of Kenosha, except, you know, in passing on that 70s show. And now all of their associations with Kenosha were going to be, you know, very, very negative. And that is when. That's the Kenosha that I know. This songwriter wrote from the heart about home. Your home is your home forever in, in the places that the memories that it brings back um, are, are really important to you. And so when you see those memories in such turmoil, um, it, it's difficult. A winter storm covers the streets and for a moment. The song the and now video, all of it shot in Kenosha, are just being released. So black and white and in between. I wanted to do what I could to put out a different message about what Kenosha was and what Kenosha meant to me and a lot of the people that have come through it. That's the Kenosha that I know. And like those who grew up there, the city itself has grown in some ways as well. As residents rallied to clean up and rebuild, Goss hopes his song can help mend some perspectives of those who have only seen slices of Kenosha on the news, nearly nine months since turmoil put it in the center of a national debate. Um, I want people to take away that there are positive, beautiful things that happen in this place called Kenosha in addition to anything that, that might be less perfect. That's the Kenosha that I call home. Sean Lewis, WGN News.